Good morning guys. So I'm starting off my morning with showing my skincare routine. I've been using the Spin Brush by Vanity Planet, which I just absolutely love. Um, it really came in handy over the summer when I was in Ghana. My skin just got so oily with the humidity and heat there. So at the end of the day, this was just perfect to get up all the dirt and it just really left my skin feeling very soft. So it comes with a large brush that you can use in the shower on your body because the brush is water resistant and then it has one for exfoliating. The brush heads are a little bit rougher and then also has a cleansing brush. This is the one that I use daily. The brushes are softer but it still gives you that deep clean feeling. So I'm just finishing up by applying some moisturizer. I'm using a Vino Positively Radiant. And if you guys are interested in the spin brush, you can get 70% off using the discount code MEDLIFE. So just check in the description box for the link. And I am all good to go. I'm going to get the rest of my day started. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So this morning, um, I actually don't have any lectures. I don't have lectures until later in the afternoon at um, 1.30, but now it's about eight o'clock and I'm just gonna head over to the um, coffee shop and do some studying. We have micro lectures, but um, he recorded the lectures and so we're able to view it online. And then later we have like in-class discussions on those lectures, so that'll be on Friday. So yeah, I'm just gonna go um, look at those lectures and then I need to review my pharmacology lecture from um, yesterday. Then look at some path notes. <laughs> I have a lot to review, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna head to lecture later in the afternoon. videos and then I reviewed some path notes and started a little bit for pharmacology but I actually prefer like when professors um, put their like lectures online and have the video recordings for it like our farm professor does that so you can look at the um, the lectures and him talking through it before going to class that way you're you know not really so confused but yeah this week is sib week at my school so we have like a sib system so pretty much a first year student is paired with a second year student and pretty much um you know the second year student can just give the first year advice and you can go to them if you have any questions and you know pass your old textbooks and any resources you have on to them and so yeah this week is sib week um so um today's activity for sib week is a kickball game last year we had flag football i don't know why they changed it to kickball um this year but that's what we're gonna do and then on friday the event is um friday night we're supposed to be going out to orm's piece so yeah i'm just heading back to my apartment because i need to bring a change of clothes for the kickball game and i need to find something to eat I saw that. Yes. I, I was like, okay. okay. I hope they don't try to. I feel like they were trying to ask the last one. But you know, they say Wednesday is the last time. Oh, Dr. Smith? That's why I said. 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 
Alrighty, this kickball game is about to start. Um, I went to the library and studied for a few hours after class. Now I'm just about to put my bag up and then head over there. 90% heart, 10% skill. It's not a skill game, it's a heart game. Hey, who's in the coach? If your heart's in it, we get the W, okay? If your heart's not in it, we, we might as well not play. <laughs> we might as well not play, all right? All right, all right. All right now bring it in, bring it in, come on. I bring it in, baby, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's bring it in. 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 Bring it but we're in the lead, so I'm confident they'll they'll finish it out and um, get the win. But I am about to head home now. So um, I'm back home, and I thought I'd just go over some of the resources that I'm using uh, for second year. So um, in second year, we take pathology, microbiology, pharmacology, um, pathophys, nutrition and a fundamentals of medicine course which is like intro to patient care how you take patient history and things like that so the hardest one and the one um that has like the most volume i guess of information is pathology and so for that i'm using um pathoma well the lecture resource the lecture notes is always like my primary resource and then um like supplement it with something else so Pathoma is like a really good uh, review book for pathology and also I was recommended this book um, rapid review and so pretty much like so you see how thin Pathoma is so it's like high yield like the most important things you need so like this is really good when uh, step one studying time comes this is obviously like more in depth. So typically I like pre-read with this before I go to class and then, um, you know, look at my lecture notes, read that. And then afterwards I'll read Pathoma and that just kind of brings everything together. So yeah, so far that has been, um, that has been my resource for pathology. Okay. And then next is micro. Um, we really haven't gotten in too depth with micro yet it's pretty much like the intro we haven't really started studying too much of like the bugs and viruses and all that but um so of course first is the lecture notes and then sketchy medical i had uh, mentioned before about trying out sketchy and sketchy micro is really good so it's pretty much like um a visual aid to help you memorize like all the bacteria viruses parasites and things of that nature because it's, it's just like a lot of memorization pretty much and so this is what it is it's um a video so this one is on staff aureus so this one's like an 11 minute video and they have different symbols that helps you memorize things about this particular um bacteria and then um i also have like the, the pictures and the pretty much the transcript to go with it so like this is the picture and the transcript that goes with that particular video which is good because some of these videos are like 15 minutes so you watch it once maybe twice a few times to really get it but after that when you want to go back and review it's too much to keep on watching that 15 minute video so it's good to just have the picture then like have these notes notes for um review so lecture notes and um sketchy micro that's my source for uh for micro and then if I need a textbook, I'll use um, I'll use this um, clinical microbiology made ridiculously simple. And then next class, um, pharmacology. We're just right now on like pharmacokinetics and dynamics. We haven't really started specific drugs yet, but when that time comes, mm, it's either gonna be sketchy um, farm or pygmonic. I still haven't decided um, which one I'm gonna use for that, but it's gonna be either or. Pygmonic is similar to um, to sketchy, it's just like a visual aid to help you memorize better. And it's, I mean, farm is also a lot of memorization, just a lot of drugs to memorize. So it's good to have some type of um, like visual aid or something that helps it stick in your head. And then the book that everybody uses, um, First A, this is pretty much just like an overall review of everything that's going to be um, on step one. You're pretty much just supposed to use it throughout the course. Like as you're going through your classes, I haven't been using it too much this first couple of weeks. But I feel like as we get more into the specific organ systems, then I will be using this um, throughout. 
and then brs physio the book that i love during first year i go back um and occasionally like if i need to brush up on something from last year maybe some physio then i'll go and uh look at this and then um patho phys does not start until october it's october through the rest of the year through may so i'm not sure what resources for that as well as nutrition that doesn't start until october as well and that's only one semester um course but like yeah as you can see there's so many classes that were taken so it's easy to get bogged down um with so many resources but i'm trying to just keep it to the bare minimum to exactly what i need because too many resources can really just like overwhelm you so for the rest of the evening i'm just gonna all i have to do is review um the one lecture that we had today and um read pathoma for that particular section so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching again this week if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.